February 12, The Kindness of a Stranger Whoever is kind to the poor is lending to the Lord. The benefit of his gift will return to him in abundance. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 17 In 1979, I was traveling from Manila to Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia, where my husband and I serve as missionaries. There was a 30-hour layover in Bombay, former name of Mumbai, India, before I could board the Ethiopian Airlines flight for the last leg of my trip. As I sat in the corner of the airport observing the busy activities around me, I saw a middle-aged lady sitting alone. There was a worried look on her face that showed something was wrong. Curiously, I approached her. In limited English, she related her sad story. She worked as domestic help for a family in Saudi Arabia. Unfortunately, she became sick and the family decided to send her back to Sri Lanka via Bombay. Unknowingly, the ticket did not include the connecting flight to her final destination. She was stranded in Bombay indefinitely. For several days, she had begged passengers for money to purchase a ticket to Sri Lanka. I thought of helping her, but did not have the courage to approach people and beg. I gave her my last dollar and prayed that I would not need anything before I reached home. Before I settled on my makeshift bed of airport chairs, I knelt to thank God for His protection and the company of a new friend. Suddenly, I hear the voice asking, Filipina ka ba? Are you a Filipina? I look around to see who asked the question. Seated nearby was an Arab gentleman. In the course of our conversation, he mentioned that he was on his way back to Saudi Arabia from a business trip in Manila. I introduced my friend and mentioned her sad predicament. Upon hearing her story, this kind stranger handed me money and instructed me to purchase for her a ticket to Sri Lanka. My new friend could not contain her happiness. Finally, she was going home, thanks to the kindness of a stranger. I am reminded of Christ's words. Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of this, my brethren, you did it to me. Matthew chapter 25, verse 20. The next day, I bade farewell to my new friends as they boarded the plane to their respective destinations. I was alone again, but not for long. I too was going home. Evelyn Fortesa Tabingo. I would love to hear from you. Comment down below your thoughts about this devotion.